Hello my little witchlings and today we are going to be unboxing the witch's moon for the month of January 2020. So stay tuned. Can you guys believe it's 2020? I, I can't believe it at all. It's absolutely, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm like, where did the time go? It's just crazy. And if I seem a little off, it's because today is the first day and like, huh, I think today's day seven, but I can actually kind of breathe through my nose. I've had a horrible head cold, so don't mind me. I am so sorry, but I am excited to get in this box. So this box, I think cost me about $55 a month. Um, I will leave everything below in the description below. So if you guys want to look at it and go to the website and stuff, everything is there. So I absolutely love this box. This is my third time reviewing this box on my channel. So, and every single time I get it, I get so excited because it's amazing. So, and for the price, you absolutely cannot beat it. So let's dig into it. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And every time stuff throws on my desk, it doesn't fail, but because it is so fast. So. Let's see what we have here. So the first thing is a Woken Flame, and every month they put one of these in there, and this is a spell, and I will leave it here so you guys can read it. So, and there it is right there. I love these. I end up putting these um, in my Book of Shadows, though, so I have them always, and they're great, because I have a family Book of Shadows that gets passed down to generations. So, and here's what I put in it. And the next thing I see is my Oracle card. And it says Volubus, Volubilis, it's right here. And it says, I am organized and efficient. I weave my spirituality through all aspects of my life. I could be of creative and prosperous. I like that. I love getting these. I've been collecting these and I've been hanging these up. And when I'm done hanging them up, I'll switch them out and then I'll put, still put these in my book of shadows when I'm done with them, because they're amazing. And the next thing we have is our table of contents and that everything that is inside the box. And this one is called Bridges Flame. And there we go. Next we have a very pretty parchment and it's called the Wheel of the Year. Right here. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I love these so much. I collect these. So, and this is, has, let's see, largely influenced by mid-century century British Wicca, the Wheel of the Year is an annual cycle of seasonal festivals observed by many modern pagans of the eight festivals of Sabbaths. Ascribed to the Wheel, there are four solar events, Sautex and Equinox referred to as quarter days, and four midport celebrations between each solar event called cross-quarter days. Seven names and festivals vary along pagan individuals and pagan traditions. Folk, custom, and geographic locations, especially between the northern and southern hemispheres. It is important to note that much of the history of the wheel is primarily rooted in modern reconstruction of and conjure. Regardless, the wheel of the year is a reminder to observe and appreciate seasonal cycles, the fruits of barrenness of the land, and the important relationship and symbolisms of our ancestors and reserves within our natural world. So that was all that. That was a lot to say. <laughs> And we also have another beautiful one right here. She's pretty. I like her a lot. And this is um, Bridget, the goddess of creative fire and returning sun. I so pretty so. So that's everything on the top of the box. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. Oh my goodness, I see some really amazing stuff in here. Oh, can't wait. Get a little index and see what's inside. So... So the first thing I see is this hand-carved Celtic cross box. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Oh, love it. And, oh, there's stuff in it too. There is some jasmine right here. And then we have a candle, a white candle. And we have a really pretty stone. And then we have a whole bunch of like moss and stuff inside of it. 
So there's gotta be a reason that all this is inside of here. So let me read up about it a little bit. To cross hold within, within its design, a vast number of symbolic and meaningful things. Naturally found among Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and Britain, the Celtic cross is woven into the mysteries and honor of the land. As with any cross, the center represents the place where the whole of cosmic power and knowledge resides. Sprouting from this are the branches of earth, air, fire, water of north, east, south, and west. Or rather, a combination of spiritual attributes that stand as a waypoint during times of rocky and uncertain waters. So this has a mini spot candle that's hand rolled with the intentions of providing you with a blank slate to write your intentions upon. The jasmine flowers, we have included jasmine buds within the box to bring about the energies of love, abundance, and prosperity. And the tiger's eye, tumbled stone, this solar stone is a necess necessary crystal to use during times of action. A common stone to be found upon an altar at this time of year. So, that's everything in it. Um, it says, the history of this ancient symbol dates back before Christianity and holds the Earth's teachings within its core. We have sourced this very unique wooden box for this collection so that you may hold on any items that you stand sacred to your practice. Place within the box among a bed of natural green tree moss and the following items that I just said. So that is awesome. I'm so excited about this little box. I love little boxes like this. Love it. Amazing. I can't believe this was in the box. So the next thing is right here. It's a little box. Oh wow. Hold on. Let me open it up. It is a necklace. Oh that is so pretty. Look at that. So this is Bridget's Hammer Fine Jewelry Pendant with Cord. This beautiful design was created by the local and award-winning jewelry artist Bob Heenley. The strength of the symbology is that it's held within the design. It is true to the energies of Bridget, known for watching over the creatives that stand beside her. Within the sacred flame this is associated with during the creation of the design, there are many three aspects. The hammer to honor Bridget's backsmithing aspect, although used to destroy Bridget's hammer is a truly equipped to work towards the creative process. The goddess, which can be seen with her hand rising above her head, is said to symbolize the moment before she draws down the hammer of creation, inspiring in strength. The triple knot representing the triple goddess aspect of Bridget, this symbol of the old, has been referred to as the tricurity of Trinity knot. As you wear this beautiful pendant, allow the energies of creation and protection to run through you on your artistic adventures. So this just, just gives you protection and stuff like that. I am definitely going to wear that. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Next thing we have is another candle. And I love their honeycomb candles. I say that every time. But they're really, they're beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's like sparkly too. I don't know if you can see it. So this is a hand-rolled and anointed Awoken Flame spell candle with spell incantation. So it says, this candle has been anointed with the intention of bringing the creativity and passionate energies to fire your rituals. The incantation that accompanies this spell candle has been created as a piece of artwork that can be placed within your book of shadows. So this spell right here goes along with this candle. So that is awesome. So, what do we have next? Next page. <laughs> and then we have a very large, right here, cinnamon stick bundle. I love using cinnamon sticks. Um, the energies that are held within cinnamon stand to be very beneficial when working to raise your vibrations as well as casting protection around your sacred space. Cinnamon is a common go-to when working to ignite passion with our work of during abundance and prosperity rituals. We have placed three large cinnamon sticks within the bundle for you to create the symbol of fire. Uprising triangle. Yep, there's three there. Um, and this symbol is to be placed around your woken flame spell candle while it's being burned. The sacred symbol is a crucial aspect in the transformation that must happen within our lives through each moon cycle. So that is awesome. I do. I love getting cinnamon sticks. So this box keeps going. The next thing is um, Bridget's Flame Ritual Aura Spray. 
which is right here. I'm just trying to open it up. So I love how this box is all um, detailed around Bridget right here, which is the beautiful girl with the red flowing hair. And right here is Bridget's flame. And it does come with a little pump too. So let's read up about this. We are thrilled to be able to introduce you to your Bridges Flame Ritual Oral, Sp Oral Spray within the special collection. Created with the intentions of bringing strength, passion, and creative energies to your space, this unique blend stands on its own and can be carried with you or on your artistic adventures throughout the day. We recommend using the spray while you're working to create excitement around your specific ideas or intentions or simply ignite passion within your spirituality and physical self. We have created this earth spray with the oils of cinnamon, clove, almond, and a special mixture of true and true magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. So that is that right there. And then the next thing is Bridget's Magical Atoining Oil. Right here. I'm just trying to open it up. And there it is right there. Look at all the stuff that's inside of that. That is amazing. So we have pre this magical atoning oil with the intention of bringing Bridget's energy into your environment. The specificity energy is based on a fearless convention towards action as you anoint your skin or sacred tools. Visualize the spark of vitality running through the energetic fields that surround you. We have enhanced this magical oil with clove, anises, innies. We have enchanted this magical oil with clove, any cinnamon, orange, almond, and bay oils and have personally oneness with your area. We have also included a special mixture of our Dream Eagles magical oil from our personal cabinetry of witchery. That is awesome. I'm curious. I don't know if I can even smell it though. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, that smells good. I can definitely smell the cinnamon in this. It's so pungent, but it smells so good. So next we have the Libertus Sacred Salt. And there it is right here. They usually give you some type of like bath salts or something. Um, this salt was created with the intention of releasing stagnant energies that we have held onto from our past. As we sit upon our new journey this year, we welcome new ideas and challenges that will push us forward to new opportunities of growth. It is important to continue work on washing away and anxieties of old so we can take, we can make way for fresh experiences. So you could just put this in your bathtub. So I do, I put it in like a little muslin bag so it doesn't get all over my tub. So, but I love using these so much. And the next thing we have is um, Solar Touch Ritual Incense Sticks. And here they are right here. And every month we get incense sticks. This powerful incense was included with the collection to be burned during times to times of creative magic. As the smoke from this incense whisks through your surroundings, allow the energies of fire to breathe through your work, allowing you to foster and maintain the flow of thoughts and ideas. So there's that. And then we have some allspice right here. And we have some bay leaf right here. Um, bay leaf is another wonderful attraction herb. Bay leaves are used to bring strength and protection to you during trying times. And as allspice, um, as we work to start generating action during these lighter months, we work with herbs that assist us in attracting energies into our lives. Allspice has always been a reliable spice to use during rituals of prosperity and health. So those are the two herbs. And I think we have one thing left, which is in this cute little bag. And this is large tombstone sunstone. Oh, I like sunstones. Right here, and there is your sunstone. And the true essence of solar light. This beautiful stone holds such power within its energy, known for its ability to bring forth the abundance of blessings onto one's life. The sunstone offers many aspects that correspond with fire attributes. Place upon your altar to bring enlightenment into your practice or carry this with you during times of challenge. So that is awesome. I love getting stones. So that is everything that is in this box. This box was great. So you got the sunstone, you got the flame spray, you got the essence oils, you got your bath salts, you got some allspice, some crushed bay leaves, a beautiful candle, some cinnamon stick, you got the beautiful necklace, 
can't feel about the box and the box also has some jasmine in it and it's got the white candle and it also has the tiger's eye stone inside of that and then you got your spell and your two parchments here and you got your oracle card and you got some cinnamon so you can't go into one of you know the, the little witchy stores and get all this stuff for the same amount of money it's impossible it's not gonna happen you will spend fifty dollars alone just on the box so and I look so forward to this box when it comes in during the month because I, I get so giddy with happy and I wish I could have posted this sooner but like I said I have been not feeling the greatest and I'm sorry that you've had to go through this whole video listen to me snipple the whole time well I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video I hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical day and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys